हेलो पीपल वेलकम बैक क्लास टू सेशन टू तो द पर्पज ऑफ दिस क्लास इज टू मेक यू फाउंडेशन स्ट्रॉगर बेटर एंड सॉलिड इन दिस क्लास आर फोकस विल बी टू अंडरस्टैंड पैसेज इवेलुएट पैसेज एंड सेग्रीगेट सेंटेंसेस इन पैसेज देर आर मेनी सेंटेंसेस but as i said in previous class that every sentence is not important and therefore we need to understand what is premise what is conclusion or what is argument premise conclusion and argument can be understood through the bold face question however we are going to do bold face question in two parts one today in which our focus will be to understand passage evaluate passage and understand the different types of sentences the role of different types of sentences the so once we cover all the reasoning questions we will return we will come back with bolfes question with the approach because in the session in the further sessions or coming sessions the first part will be introductory part it's been first we will understand what is concept or what is reasoning what is concept then what should be the base of concept then what should be approach for the concept what precaution should we take what should be elimination strategy that will be the part of discussion in further classes same we will do with the bolfes question when we'll come with the final discussion of bolfes question you will get to know the right approach and that approach will tell you how to save time and how to solve question in a minute or in one and a half minutes remember getting reasoning is never difficult if you know how to do it that is called approach and this second class is the base of it what if you take this class seriously then you will be able to enjoy other approaches so further session will be about approach concept solving questions and discussion about the sessions now in previous class we talked about premise conclusion background information and argument right few more terminologies although they are not that much important yet we should think about it why because it helps but your focus should be only on three important points that we are going to discuss so the class of today is about evaluation all right now main conclusion or intermediate conclusion when we say main conclusion it's been final conclusion so why we are talking about main conclusion or intermediate conclusion because in passage there can be more than one conclusion and every conclusion is not important therefore we should know which conclusion plays a role of extra information or supportive information or and which conclusion is important and therefore we need to know what is main conclusion and intermediate conclusion so the definition is the main conclusion is the statement that arguer is trying to prove what is main conclusion main conclusion means what arguer trying to prove that's become main conclusion then what is intermediate conclusion intermediate conclusions are statements supported by evidence and used to support the main conclusion if there are two conclusion as i said that one will be background information one will be main here intermediate conclusion will be type of background information so main conclusion means final point and intermediate conclusion means supportive point now point 1 to remember point 2 fact evidence and premise fact evidence premise all are synonyms of one another in short they are called premise if you remember premise means a piece of information based on fact right now so number 2 however 
if you go with the sequence wise, your first job is to know about premise. Second job is to know about conclusion. So what is premise? The premise is the information that is accepted as a given and that is used in order to draw a conclusion. Think of it as a truth that is used to form the conclusion. So premise is base of any conclusion and conclusion is derived information from premise. Three important terminologies. One, conclusion, derived information. Intermediate conclusion means supportive information. Premise means fact from where the conclusion is taken. Then context. Interpretation of an aspect of the argument. So the explanation of argument is called context. Then consideration. A factor to be considered information, judgment or decision. Consideration means whatever thought process has been taken to conclude that part is called consideration. So the consideration is a stand that comes just before conclusion or it is somewhere proper I mean parallel to conclusion. Assumption. Assumption means hidden premise means when you come to premise I mean when you go to conclusion from premise between premise and conclusion there is always assumption. And that hidden part is a part. I mean that hidden part is premise. That's also called bridge. For example, because you are listening to me, therefore you must be a serious student of CLAT preparation. You are listening to me seriously, therefore you must be a CLAT sparent. Behind that, what is assumption? Because I have concluded on the basis of fact. It's mean all serious students focus on study, learning. That is called assumption. So when conclusion is taken from the premise, there is always a hidden information. And that hidden information is called premise. Position. Prepare to support or stand to support the argument. Again, it is type of premise. But generally, it comes before conclusion. Although assumption also comes between premise and conclusion. However, proposition is always before the argument. Next is principle. That is called main conclusion. It's mean there is no difference between main conclusion and principle. They are parallel or synonym words. Then judgment. Consideration and judgment is same. Why? Because they always support conclusion or, or stands with conclusion. Evaluate the argument. Claim. Claim is pre-conclusion. So, intermediate conclusion and pre-conclusion is same as extra information. However, intermediate conclusion is a complete information but sometimes conclusion can be taken directly from pre-conclusion and that is called claim. Opinion that is called point of view means author has concluded considering something base. Now circumstances one of the fact or piece of evidence finding based on evidence conclusion is taken. Till now the important terminologies are premise, conclusion and extra information and these all are the part of extra information. However, if you go through there is no harm in it yet carry forward or to take away premise, conclusion and argument. Now, let us understand. Um, <clears throat> now, let's go to approach and evaluation. This is a passage and remember the passage has multiple terminologies. Through the question, we will try to understand all the approaches, all the points in detail. Your task for this class is to just follow the pattern of understanding of passage. As I said, reasoning is all about understanding main point. Main point means premise plus conclusion or conclusion. If you catch your understanding of argument, reasoning will be always easy. 
somewhere if you struggle understanding or picking keyword of argument it is going to be a trouble hence you should be attentive if interest rates remain at their current high levels many people who currently rent their residences will hesitate to purchase homes as the price of real estate continues to climb the cost of mortgage will be too burdensome sellers will be forced to lower their asking prices so high interest rates will eventually cause the real estate market to stabilize we are not going to solve bold face question but through evaluation we will give the answer as i said at the beginning we will follow the certain approach to solve bold face question at the end of the classes means after solving all other critical reasoning questions the day i mean today or in this class we are going to discuss how to evaluate passage how to segregate sentences and how to understand what is premise what is conclusion what is background information and what is other information now if any sentence begins with if it's mean it cannot be main premise why so because it is called condition and premise means always fact and condition cannot be fact condition means two happenings two happening means it's not true why because one happening will depend on another happening therefore if any sentence begins with if it will not be main premise if interest rates remain at their current high levels so if rates high many people who currently rent their residence will hesitate to purchase home many people will not be able to purchase home or hesitate to purchase home so this is the background information why it is background information because it is putting a condition if rate is high people will hesitate to buy now that is one piece of information as the price of real estate continues to climb the cost of a mortgage will be too burdensome now as means marker of premise so because the price of state continues to climb because price climb the cost of mortgage will be too burdensome and cost of mortgage will be too burdensome because price is climbing therefore mortgage cost will be high and this is called intermediate conclusion sellers and because of intermediate conclusion sellers will be forced to lower their asking prices so high interest rates will eventually cause the real estate market to stabilize so means marker of conclusion right it's mean this is conclusion and this conclusion has been taken from the previous sentence that is supported by intermediate conclusion so background information intermediate conclusion premise and conclusion did you get how to justify this sentence has been taken from here sellers will be forced to lower their asking price therefore rates will cause ultimately to stabilize market sellers will be forced to lower their price therefore market will stabilize and this is background information this is background information this is intermediate conclusion now let us justify whether we are right or wrong through the options whether our thought process is okay or not we will discuss through the options means we were able to evaluate passage or not let us understand now <clears throat> let us evaluate it it says cost is author's main point cost is not author's main point main point means conclusion and here cost is condition and condition cannot be conclusion so two important points if any sentence begins with if it can be neither conclusion nor premise premise is fact 
and conclusions taken from the fact. Therefore, any sentence with if will not be the argument, neither premise nor conclusion. So, first, first is author's main point, no. Second is a prediction that follows from that point. So, second is not the prediction, but second is main conclusion. And therefore, option is out. First is consideration that authors believe will result in certain situation. So, first it says interest rate high, people hesitate. This is one situation. High interest rate stop buying, right? It means first part, this part is okay. Consideration means extra thought. Second is a uh, second is that situation. Now carrying from there, now carrying there, it says because the price as continues to climb, it will be burdensome, and therefore they will compel to their asking, lower their asking price, and therefore market will stabilize. It's been what now it will stop and therefore it will carry so this is okay now option c option b is fine option c first is consideration that weighs against author's main point weighing against means counter information counter information means opposing information but here you will find that there is no counter word there is no but there is no however there is no yet it's mean it cannot be counter at all and hence this part out. Second is author's main point. Second part is okay, but first part is incorrect. First is a prediction. First is a prediction. All right. So although it is a consideration instead of prediction, because prediction means what you assume based on some situation. However, it is conditional sentence. So somewhere you can say. Second is evidence that is a problem. Why? Because any sentence begins with so, it will be conclusion. And hence, it cannot be evidence. And therefore, this part out. First is author's main point. We have already eliminated the first part. And then this part out. Second is that evidence used to arrange one. Okay. So, in short, what we have discussed till now. In short, we have discussed different parts of this passage. And we have tried to understand the evaluation of this passage. As I said that we are not solving question. Just we are applying a strategy to evaluate the whole passage in detail. So because of marker. Because of marker. Conclusion marker. So conclusion marker means conclusion. As means premise. As x. Therefore, why intermediate conclusion? This is main conclusion. Let us understand one more passage. <clears throat> For a contest at the upcoming county fair, Mary advocates for a ring toss. Because, right? Because means premise. So, the marker of premise, so it must be premise. Because the ring toss is consistently the favorite activity of the children who attend the fair. Now, because ring toss is favorite activity of children who attend. Therefore, Mary advocates a ring toss. If you recall in first class, we have discussed about X, therefore Y. X, therefore Y. It means from here to here. This is an argument. However, however means opposite information. And points out that adults win most of the prizes when playing a ring toss. So, one more piece of information. Should we consider main premise? Answer will be no until the second sentence is conclusion. To make the chances of winning fair everyone, and proposes a raffle. So, proposal X, proposal Y. It's been background information. Why? Because second is not conclusion. And until 
it becomes a conclusion previous sentence cannot be a premise now this says any any says adults win most of the prizes when playing ring toss to make chance of winning for everyone and proposes a raffle mary says ring toss and says raffle mary rebuts that those who can afford to spend more on raffle tickets will have better chances of winning toss so mary says in first case mary says ring toss in second says yes those who can afford more on raffle tickets have better chances the two agree to hold a raffle in which each person can buy only one ticket both agree she rebuts says that yes those who have better chance to afford have better chance to win and then they both agree so this is called conclusion and this is called premise now let us evaluate once again one by one in detail now argument x therefore y background information now background information premise conclusion means argument argument 1 argument 2 argument 1 ring toss favor argument 2 raffle favor first bold part premise second bold part premise first part argument second part argument in first part conclusion is first in second part conclusion is later let us understand with the options <clears throat> first is an example of one activity it's true second is an argument in favor of choosing that activity one activity that activity second is the conclusion about raffle first is conclusion about ring toss right it mean that activity means ring toss no that is called evaluation of argument second was about ring toss second was about raffle second first one about ring toss first is the conclusion of one of the argument if you remember first was not the conclusion it was premise why because it started with because second invalidates the others participant reasoning though she is just adding information saying that yes those who can afford better can win more it mean that just adding points instead of countering what if she counters it means she should change her conclusion but she is not changing conclusion and therefore it is not invalidation first is an argument promoting one activity that is called ring toss second invalidates the reason for promoting other activity all right so first is an argument promoting one activity and second invalidates the reason for promoting other activity so second says that in second part first it says that to make chances winning for everyone and proposes raffle but mary says no it's not about winning the chance it is about the affordability it is about affordability so what is the second part that reason first winning chance and second is about affordability it means it's okay first is the conclusion of the participant first is an argument it's not conclusion however after because it is premise the second is an argument that supports the first is the conclusion of one participant and second is an argument that supports that conclusion as you know that first part is not argument i mean conclusion it's a premise and together it becomes an argument second is an argument that supports that conclusion so 
second is not that means ring toss it is raffle first is the argument promoting one activity and second is it is lit not clear and hence we can ignore this part however as our job is to evaluate passage and from that angle just we need to understand whether we are able to understand passage or not let's move to the next one <clears throat> now just check whether you are able to identify premise conclusion and argument plant scientists have used genetic engineering on seeds to produce crop plants that are highly resistant to insect damage so this is background information it cannot be considered premise until we get conclusion we cannot consider it main premise unfortunately the seeds themselves are quite expensive and the plants require more fertilizer and water to grow well than normal ones one more extra information so till now this is called background information whether this is extra information or premise will depend on the second sentence if second sentence means next sentence is conclusion then it will be premise thus so x thus y it means this is premise and this is conclusion second you have marker thus it means conclusion <clears throat> for most farmers the savings on pesticides would not compensate for the higher seed cost and the cost of additional fertilizer for most farmers the savings on pesticides would not compensate for the higher seed cost and the cost of additional fertilizer so x therefore y it's mean this is argument so from here to here it is an argument however however means now it has some different idea about the passage right it says however since if you remember i said in first class family of beakers is the marker of premise it's been automatically this part is going to be premise consumer demand for grains fruits and vegetables grown without the use of pesticides continue to rise premise now x therefore y x therefore y conclusion the use of genetically engineered seeds of this kind of is likely to become widespread because consumers demand these things therefore these seeds is going to be widespread right so this is called an argument remember in such passages actually we are not depending on meaning why so because we are not adding any logic and reasoning just we try to understand how to evaluate a passage so in this part our job is to just know how to evaluate passage how to understand passage and how to know about the passage once you know how to evaluate passage how to segregate sentences then reasoning will be easy otherwise what if you read sentences from to top to bottom you will get confused in evaluation and therefore you should know different steps of it however coming to the point that it has two arguments argument 1 and argument 2 first supplies a context for the argument second is the argument's main conclusion first supplies a context means first supplies information means premise is true second is argument's main conclusion it's also true but the problem is it is supplying the context of the argument which argument this argument or another argument that is called confusing and this is called critical reasoning where you have to be very selective therefore it is doubtful first introduces a development that arguments predicts will have certain outcome second is a state of affairs that argument denies will be the part of outcome denies means what there is no possibility 
and therefore this part will be eliminated. First presents a development that the argument predicts will have a certain outcome. Second acknowledges a consideration that weighs against the prediction. You know, in first case it was that it will not be. In first case, yeah, in first case it says that because it is expensive, therefore it will not compensate. Second says it is demanding and therefore it is likely to be widespread. What option C says, first, presence a development argument predicts have certain outcome. It's been what because of expensive or expense, it is not possible to follow. But second says, no, whatever it expense is, it doesn't matter. If there is demand, then it can be fulfilled. Now, first provides evidence to support a prediction that argument seeks to defend. Second is that prediction. Now the problem is first provides evidence to support a prediction that argument seeks to defend. It's been second one. You know that first and second are opposite of each other and therefore this part out. First and second each provides evidence to support the arguments. All right. So it, this is incomplete information. Hence we should ignore it. Why? Because we are not solving question and hence we should look at. Many people Praise high renaissance painting for creating very realistic images from observation. But scholars have documented that some high renaissance painters use pinhole cameras to project the likeliness of their subjects onto the canvas and painted from the air. Thus, people who credit high renaissance painters with superior artistic skills are misguided. Painting from a projected image requires only a only an insignificant amount of additional skill beyond that needed to copy a picture outright. First part because of the contradiction but this is called counter information. Now x but y is mean counter information. Here it is thus. Thus means what? Marker of conclusion. So, people who credit high renaissance painters with superior artistic skills are misguided. And this comes from X therefore Y. Because scholars documented some high renaissance painters are Painters use pinhole cameras to project likeliness of their subjects onto the canvas and painted from there. So what they use? They use pinhole. Pinhole. All right. So because they are using pinhole, therefore it is considered that it's not artistic. It's misguided. Painting from a projected image requires only an insignificant amount of additional skill. Beyond that needed the copy of a picture outright. And it's been what? In such skills, it's not artistic skills. Why? Because you need a picture straightforward and then you need some additional skills. It's mean those who say it's a high renaissance painting, that's called misguided. So in this case, premise, conclusion and premise, right? And this is called background information. So if you go through the passage once again, if you go through the passage once again, then you will find that first before but, first before but it is background information. From scholars to there it is premise, from thus to misguided conclusion and from painting to outright again it is premise. So the first premise and the last sentence, second premise, both support conclusion. Now let us understand with the option. Option A says, the first is a finding that has been used to support a conclusion that argument rejects. First is main premise and therefore the word reject is incorrect. Reject, no, because it justifies therefore first is okay. Second claim that supports conclusion. Second is a claim. What is mean of claim? Claim means conclusion. And therefore, second is not 
I mean, this is incorrect option. Why so? Because second is premise that supports the conclusion and therefore it cannot be claimed it is a premise. Now, moving to second part. First is a finding that has been used to support conclusion that argument rejects. First is not finding. First is justification and justification of the conclusion is been premise and therefore rejects is incorrect. Second is that conclusion. Second is not conclusion. First is a claim put forth to support a conclusion that the argument rejects. As I said that first is premise and rejection is not possible. It means this is also out. First is evidence, true, form the basis for the position that argument seeks to establish, means first supports conclusion. Second is a claim presented to solidify that position. Yes, second is the second premise. First is evidence that form the basis for the position that argument seeks to establish. And second is that position. Second is not that position, but second is a premise that supports the other position and therefore this out. Now, at the end of the discussion, we are going to do final passage. In final passage, we are going to understand final point of the argument. Before we proceed, few important points. From next session, it will be all about the approach and types of question and their approaches. So next class, in next class, you are going to discuss types of question and what should be the shortcut for those questions, what to apply and what to think. So next class is all about the types of question and shortcuts. Then next to next class will be about the real approaches along with the justification and elimination. So let's go to final passage. Environmental organization. Environmental organization want to preserve the land surrounding the Wilgrim wilderness area from residential development they plant they plan to do this by purchasing that land from the farmers who own it that plan is ill conceived if the farmers did sell their land they would sell it to the highest bidder and developers would outbid any other bidders on the other hand these farmers will never actually sell any of the land provided that farming it remains viable but farming will not remain viable if the farmers are left unmodernized and most of the farmers lack the financial resources modernization requires and that is exactly why a more sensible preservation strategy would be to assist the farmers to modernize their farms to extent needed to maintain viability you have some markers and now you have to justify for example if you go to bottom there is one sentence that is called and that is exactly why a more sensible that is exactly why so whenever there is and that is exactly why means it's a marker of conclusions it's mean from here to here this is your conclusion but now this is background information why because this is not the conclusion of the first one they plan to this do they plan to do this by purchasing that land from farmers who own it this is separate piece of information this is separate piece of information they plan to do this by purchasing the land from the farmers who own it and that plan is ill conceived because they want to purchase from the farmers therefore it is ill conceived if the farmers will farmers did sell their land they would sell it to the highest bidder as I said, if you remember, if the sentence is, if it is called conditional, it means it will not be the part of premise and conclusion. On the other hand, means counter information. These farmers will never actually sell off their land provided that the farming remains viable. So this is called again extra information, but means counter information. Farming will not remain viable if the farmers are left unmodernized and most of the farmers lack the financial resources modernization requires because they need financial resources therefore they need help and here this part will work so this is called an argument so from 
मोस्ट ऑफ द फार्मर्स लैक फाइनेंशियल रिसोर्सेज दे आर फोर दे विल वर्क फॉर द सपोर्ट आई मीन एंड दे नीड मनी टू मेंटेन द वायबिलिटी एंड दे आर फोर दे विल सेल टू द प्रिजर्व वन एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड होल आर्गुमेंट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू वाइंड अप सो इन शॉर्ट टेक अवे ऑफ द डे ऑलवेज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज प्रेमिस वॉट इज कंक्लूजन वॉट इज आर्गुमेंट rest excite information so divide all the information in two parts that is called argument part and non argument part why because all the reasoning comes from argument and hence you should learn how to ignore extra information <clears throat> as i said earlier next class will be about the types of question justification and shortcut and after that next to next class will be about approaches <clears throat>